it is so boring waiting on the post to arrive in. Oh well, at least you don't have to wait. You've just got to watch this intro. Okay, so as many of you know, and... Hold on a minute. There we go, that's better. Look at that! Okay, so of course I have to say, first and foremost, a huge, huge thank you to my very good friend Dan at Stick and Mix. Thank you ever so much. This is just the most awesomest thing in the world. I absolutely love this. It's just so perfect. Thank you ever so much, buddy. So, as many of you know, I attended the Brighton Southern Invert Show. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. But if you watched my videos, obviously you knew I had to fly there and fly back again. Fortunately, the downside of flying is that, well, I could have, but I didn't really want to risk taking any purchases through the airport to either have them confiscated or put through a scanner and possibly have damage caused to them by the X-rays or Zapatrons or whatever they are. Them. So I decided that what I would do is leave any purchases with my very good friend uh, the Viking that is House of Bugs to be sent up to me. That was posted on the Monday following the show on the Sunday. The reason I'm a bit out of breath is I've literally just run through the door with my box to digress. That was posted on the Monday, waited all day Tuesday, box didn't arrive. Brilliant. So the box has arrived, I've been out all day, my neighbour had to take the box in. I'm just hoping and praying to dear Lordy that everything's okay in here. Um, so without further ado, let's just, let's just crack on with getting into this box because I'm quite anxious about the whole thing. Okay, so of course, address to Wizard of the North, that would be me then. And the box itself looks to be in perfect condition, albeit arriving a day late. So this box should contain my purchases. A mystery box that was uh, gifted to me by Stick and Mix and his lovely partner. So thank you so much for that. We will do that in a separate video, that mystery box. And uh, I believe House of Bugs has popped a few things in here for me as well from him and his uh, wonderful partner. So let's let's uh, do this opening up -y thing. Okay, so I'll do my best to film as much as I possibly can. I just pray that everything is okay. As I say, this is now the Wednesday and this was supposed to have arrived on the Tuesday. So we'll just pop that out of the way. I mean, the one thing we do know is the packaging is absolutely perfect. So we'll just remove this out of the way. And we can see here it's beautifully packed in, nice and tight. Uh, we've got First and foremost, that's a lovely packaging, I'm just getting out of the way. We have the tubs that all my stuff uh, was bought in, so we've re-put the tubs in there. And the heat pack is still emanating a small amount of heat, so that's good. We have my mystery box. That was a gift, as I say, this is from Portsmouth Tarantulas, and that was a gift from Stick and Mix and his partner, and this is a £10 mystery box. We will open this in another video. We have some roaches that were gifted to me. More as pets than feeders uh, to grow as a colony. So these are all young cockroaches that we'll maybe use one or two, but on the whole, I would like to grow these up into adulthood. So now let's get into the polysyrene box which contains everything in it. Okay, so here we have the polystyrene box. I'm just covering this over because it does have the details for House of Bugs on it, and that's his personal details. So we can see another heat pack in here, and it is actually still warm, and the inside of this box is still warm, which fills me full of hope. And we have all kinds of bits and bobs in here. Now what I'm going to have to do is work out what's mine and what's been added into here. So we've got a lovely bit of decoration. 
so I don't want to show off too much but what I'll do is I'll get all these tubs out set them aside uh, and then we'll have a look at what's in the tubs and as I say I don't want to give anything away just as of yet that's a bit of decoration and here is all the tublets so let's get us out of the way and have a look into the tubs and I can tell you what was mine and what's been added in since okay so first and foremost unfortunately there has been a loss and it was my really beautiful Miami wolf spider I'm a little bit gutted um, I was really excited about this one and as you can see it is indeed a very very beautiful spider but unfortunately that extra day in the post hasn't done her any good and unfortunately she hasn't made it from the ones I've checked thus far this is the only casualty um, which I suppose is quite good um, yeah um right let's let's yeah go ahead okay so that was from the spider shop we also purchased ourselves a stony huntsman so i have checked it is still alive and i'm going to get that popped into its house and yeah we'll see if we can get a better look at it okay we have a nice fresh piece of bark lid at the ready tongs at the ready um I think what might be the easiest thing to do is open up the end and already it's making a escape for it so we might yeah let's just uh, I'm gonna pause get out uh, concentration and all that okay so it's in here, lids on, and let's move the camera and have a wee look at the beautiful Stony Huntsman. Okay, so there it is, just chilling out on that bit of bark, looking really lovely. And again, that came from the spider shop. I think I might contemplate a bigger enclosure at some point, but for now, this will do. Okay, so next up from the spider shop as well, this was... £20 and just look at that now I've kept vinegaroons before absolutely love them I've really missed having one so when I saw them on the table I could not resist just look at how beautiful that is uh, absolutely amazing so let's get this beautiful beast into some kind of setup okay so there we go now this is an incredibly large house for this uh, vinegar rune but you know what nothing wrong with get a little mansion and it would help if you would Come on, go and investigate your new home. Go investigate. This is probably still a little bit on the damp side. They, they do prefer it a bit drier. But we've got hides, hide, hide under there, or dish, loads of space, and then it goes. So we'll leave that to settle in. But that's a house in there. I'll probably tweak it a little bit. But anyway, on to the next one. Following that, we moved away from the spider shop and we visited our friend Tony Webb at Venomous Visions. And we picked ourselves up. How gorgeous is that? So let's get this beautiful little Scorpio Maris into an enclosure. Okay, so here we go. This is the enclosure we have set up for it. It's mostly sand with some coir to hopefully hold a bit of humidity for the sake of being able to burrow. I made a bit of a mess up around here, but don't worry. 
Um, so we've got this hide it under this lovely dry bit of bark here. We've popped in a couple of wee live plants. There's one there and there's one over here. They may or may not take, but fact well, you never know unless you try. And if they don't, then yeah, well. Remain professional at all times and all that jazz. Although I'm sure I'm not really at much risk from this gorgeous little little one. Oh. Now if you go, no, I don't want to go and explore your new home. Go and explore your new home. I've always wanted a one of the sort of golden. Most of my scorpions are predominantly desert species, so there we go. We've treated ourselves to a beautiful little deserty one. Peekaboo! I can see you. Okay, so then we went to visit our friend Andy at So Many Legs. We picked up this gorgeous little sling. It is down in there. It has been knocking back the fruit flies. And that is the C. Sale, if that's correct pronunciation. So there it is, devouring some fruit flies. It's a happy wee thing. Very speedy, very fast, very gorgeous. You can see it there, chomping on that fruit fly. Or two, I think it's actually taken two, possibly even three. I'm sure there's like four in there. Look at them all. Yeah, greedy little monkey. Yeah, there's about four of them there. Good going. Well hunted. So that'll be alright in this little tub for a while. So that was So Many Legs, and we made another purchase from So Many Legs, which is our last purchase. Okay, so here's the enclosure of our final purchase. This kind of gives it away. It again was from Andy at So Many Legs. Thank you ever so much. It was amazing to have finally met you. And it is, of course, this little stunner. Now, I know they don't... They, you know, longevity of these things is a couple of years. A bit like mantids. But how could you not love that? How beautiful is that little dude? Do that. Little... Yeah, I'll just zoom in down there. Got little bits of decoration and stuff for highs. Now these do love to pretend to play dead. And there we go. Isn't that the most beautiful little thing ever? I'm so cute. Look at me. There we go, we'll leave that up on top here, that's nice and warm, viv, heat coming up from below and hopefully that will be a happy, happy little dancing camel spider. Yeah, gutted about the one that didn't make it, but all in, the rest appear to be doing well, really happy, all rehoused and looking good. Okay, so that was of course my purchases from the Southern Invert Show 2018. It was amazing and I met so many amazing people as you probably saw if you've watched the video. Join me next time, we will be doing that £10 mystery box that we got from our friend Stick and Mix and also having a look at a little gift that was sent to us from House of Bugs. So please do hit the bell, do subscribe, hit the like and thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. So bye bye for now. Thank you. Bye bye.